This is Jared Ryan, the project lead. And I just wanted to show you today how to do some curved um, kernel walls in Revit. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do the curved kernel wall in Revit plus the mullion. So it's a little bit more in intricate than what you might have seen on YouTube already. Um, but this one includes a mullion. So let's give it a try and see what we can come up with today. So firstly, I'm gonna open up a new model, architecture template, just a standard Revit one, just, from, just for the purpose of showing the video. I'm going to create a wall architecture. I'm going to choose curtain wall exterior. It's kind of standard stuff that's available in Revit. And I'm just going to do a really faceted wall here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on elevations just so I can get some idea of how many levels we've got here. Duplicate that and make a yeah, level two. Alrighty, I'm going to go over to 3D model. If I click on that, I'm going to switch over the top constraint to level two. Alrighty, and make it zero. I've got everything we need there. I'm going to duplicate this exterior wall and create one called faceted. Duplicate. Alrighty, so first things first, I'll make that a bit smaller. 1200. Just for million size, I'm going to say yes to that. And then I'm going to put an interior border at the square. And I'm going to make exterior border of 150. Same. Just going to copy the same for the other portion. And this is just going to help accentuate what's going on here. And then I am going to change joint condition to border and horizontal grid continuous. Alrighty. Bang. Alright, so that's, you can see how faceted that is. Alright, so in order for us to create a curved curved glass essentially first the first thing we need to do is when we go into meta type you can see there's a curtain panel here you can just choose panels what we can also do is we can swap them out you can see the basic walls in here as well you can swap that out with um, any other basic walls in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a basic wall that is 20 mil glass and then we can swap it out into that location what i'll do is i'll duplicate the family so let me first do that Duplicate the family and say curved. Alrighty. And for now, I'm just going to close. Okay. So first things first, duplicate that across. Make it five meters. And switch this one back because I think that switched to curved. So I'm going to go that back to faceted. All right, I'm going to go back down to the level zero, and what we'll find in level zero is just the two plans. Um, what I need to do is create that new wall that I mentioned. So I go to basic walls, just choose something that's really kind of simple already. I'm going to edit and duplicate type. So I'm going to make a glass wall. So I'm just going to put in a chair yesta, and then that's project lead. So and then. Glass, and I'm gonna just make it 20 millimeters, and I'm gonna put that under curtain wall, so we know that that's a curtain wall family. We don't use it for anything else. Okay, so let's edit, change this to finish, switch that over to a glass material. There we go, and. Make that 20 millimeters. Seems easy enough. All right, seems like we're all done here. All right, so that's just the glass we're going to use there. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this family and we say curved. I'm going to edit the type and then we're going to do this. We're just going to switch out that for the JJ kernel wall glass 20 millimeters. See what happens. 
well, bang on. You can see there, the glass has been switched out. You can see it's nice and curved. We compare compare that quickly to what's going on on the other side. Yeah, let me just quickly click on this and just make sure that that's sitting in the right spot. Like that, zero. So okay, you can see it's all faceted, right? There's a curved one, and then there's this curve as well. That's not quite what we want, okay? So, it's already, it's got the curved glass, but it doesn't have the curved um, mullions. So how can we do that? How can we add that in? So, my way of getting that in would be adding a profile. So, you normally, it's like adding a profile to, to a wall. So, you can see this wall sweeps. That, you're just basically selecting a profile and adding that to wall sweep. And then that basically makes the wall uh, have have the profile attached to it, which in this case would be a million. So let's give that a try and see what we get. All right, let's go down to this. And I'm gonna click on edit type. And, and now we will quickly just to add in the profiles. So we click on that edit structure, go to preview, switch preview over to section. These options will reveal themselves. We're going to add a sweep. We can add and choose a profile. And I've added this JJ profile and I'll share that with, with you on um, I don't know, Google Drive or something. All right, so I've added that, and I'm just going to see what it looks like just to start. And it's at zero, side is the exterior, offset. Probably want to just offset that, but it'd probably be negative 75 after 150 million. So let's just see what we get after this. You can see that, it's quite useful. Then let's go back in, see if the offset. Put in 75 and see what we get. Apply. Nope. Zero. Apply. Then offset. Let's see. Negatives. 75. Apply. Nope. Wrong way. So it's 75. Apply. Uh, something's gone wrong here. Cool. And then we have to take into account that there is the 20 millimeter of the wall. So if I go 65 and apply, there we go. Because 20 millimeters divided by 2 is 10, so 65. That makes sense to me at least. I mean 65 on that side and 65 on that side, so that works. Alrighty, and you can see that says from the base, so I'm gonna add another one. And do one from the top. Add. There we go. And which is top. And I'm gonna say 65 as well. It means what we'll do, we will have two overlapping each other, but we will have them. I'll add the material category later, or maybe not. But you get the idea. We're just going to put put the information in so far. Alrighty. If I go back to the top here, bang bang, and we're in. Cool. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to say OK. So if I have a look, we can see we've got a duplicate of millions here now. So that's a problem. I obviously want to get rid of the other millions that we originally had. So if I just click on these, and I go select million, and then I choose on horizontal grid, and just go and delete them. However, if I could just go into the family itself, and I can just switch off all of the horizontal millions. Let's see if that works. Do that. Apply. Delete millions. 
cool. And what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this border. Actually, yeah, let's do border and vertical. Because this might be a little bit shitty now. So what I'm also do is I'm gonna change the inner vertical million. Can. There we go, to 150 by 50, so that looks tidier. Okay. Bang. Now look what we've got. Beautiful curved millions. A look in 3D. The comparison there. How is that? Now what you can see is, and I'm not saying this is the best scenario i'm sure you can do something better here but you can see these are not joining all the way across so we could do in the future and you can probably fiddle around with on your own on your own on your side is just to start to get those in um or maybe just pull up the the mullions slightly the other way is to bring the that um top million and the bottom million to exactly at the right location um, when I say at the right location at the edge of the glazing however that will change how it interacts with the glazing um, the bottom in the middle here so just keep that in mind but yeah all in all I would say that's a, a win definitely from a graphical point of view and um, slowly but surely you'll get to a location that you'd actually be happy with the geometry so yeah i hope that helps and good luck with whatever you're going to try and do with it um yeah i'll put the family information inside um, the link below as well as um the actual families so i'll save this project out and i'll save i'll save the the profile that i created for the, the wall sweep all right thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time